Well, it's another late and lonely night for me, so I've decided to invite a lady over at 11 p.m. Is she a prostitute? No. She's an elderly woman, and her name is Michalina. Now, Michalina comes from the long line of geriatric Italian women whose cuisine has somehow spiraled so out of control that it ended up in the freezer section of your grocery store. Now, Michalina offers a wide variety of different meals, but this is my personal favorite, the wheels and cheese. Now, there's a lot of different pastas out there, fettuccine, rotini, Carmela Soprano's favorite, ziti, but Michalina has perfected the wheel. Why the wheel? Well, it was what Michalina used in order to escape Mussolini's fascist regime and immigrate to America. Now, the wheels and cheese is part of the Zappums line of Michalina. Now, I took a quarter of Italian at Ohio State, and I'm fairly sure Zappum translates to delicious. Then again, I did drop the course, and yes, it was the quarter system at the time at Ohio State. I'm very old. But anyway, that's why tonight I'll be showing you how to microwave a Michelina's wheels and cheese. Open up the corner of the box. The box states to microwave the wheels and cheese for two minutes, then stir it and microwave again for an additional one and a half minutes. I guess Michelina feels the wheels need to be rotated. But screw that, who has time to stir? So I'm just gonna go ahead and microwave the thing at three and a half minutes. Ah, the wheels and cheese are ready. Let's go ahead and stir and lube the wheels and let them cool. Last thing we want is for our wheels to overheat. Well, let's go ahead and take a bite. Hmm. Well, I never expected the wheel to actually taste like the components of a tire. I guess we don't know Michalina's last name, but I suppose it's probably Goodyear. In an effort to be healthy, I'm adding some fresh broccoli. It's a great way to pump the brakes on those wheels. Mmm, now this looks like something you'd get to go from Applebee's. Wow, what a great late night meal. And with all these extra carbs at a completely unnecessary hour, it's time to crash this 1984 Ford Probe into bed. <laughs>